Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're gonna to be covering how to add merge fields to your Salesforce survey. So a few items of housekeeping before we jump into it. One, uh, you do need to have surveys enabled in order to have this work or to create surveys within your org. So go ahead and do that. You would just search in the quick find over here, surveys and enable it. You also need to have a couple of permissions. So you have to have the Salesforce, I think it's feedback management license in order to have advanced features. And once you have that license, go ahead and turn on the Salesforce advanced features in the permission set, assign it to whomever is going to be creating the survey, and then they'll be able to create merge fields. It is a little unfortunate that that's not out of the box, but um, that's kind of what you got to do to add merge fields. I'm able to do this in this org because this is a uh, developer org and Salesforce has allowed that. So I'm going to go back to uh, the front end of Salesforce and in here, go search for surveys. Double click. I'm going to create another one, another survey. Just have this be a standard survey. And I'm going to name this just a test customer survey and then click continue so um, i'm going to show you how to enter in a couple different types of merge fields what we're going to do is we are going to so i guess let's start off going into our advanced settings here and then go to merge field mapping variables so we want to establish the field level access so i guess what kind of context are we grabbing these merge fields from are we going to enforce the user permissions so it's just going to be based upon the user who's creating it and then any system context so um, enforce record level access and then as well as enforce or another system context is ignore i'm going to have it be for user context and then let's come down here to object variables for merge fields. So we can have the participant object. So the participant object is going to be things like leads or contacts, the person who is participating in the, in the survey. And then you can have an associated object. So that is going to be things like cases or opportunities based upon your scenario. And then finally, if we come down to Oregon custom variables, you can create your own new variable to grab things from other places, like entering in a specific email ID or something like that we could do. Let's see if we did a custom variable, that would be more like an email ID. And then if we did like an org variable, we could, we could grab like street or name uh, variable information. So I'm gonna cancel out of that. We're only gonna use the object and merge fields data to keep this kind of quick and simple for you guys. So I am going to have this associated object be opportunity, just to keep it simple, the variable. And then we're gonna grab it from opportunities and I'm gonna hit save there, it's gonna gray out. If we wanna enter in uh, more information from other objects, we'd have to reset it after we entered these merge fields and then put those fields in as well. And then we've got participant object. So here we could have this be the lead or the contact. I'm gonna have this be the contact because it makes more sense to have that with the opportunity. So the lead, you wouldn't have an opportunity. And then I'm gonna have this be for the contact object and I'm gonna hit save here. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the builder. And now what we can go ahead and do is enter in our information. So I'm gonna say hello, and then we can insert context. So I'm going to merge a field from the participant record, which is going to be the contact that we just set up. And I want to have it be their name. So I'm gonna say full name and insert. There we go. We have put that merge field in. Let's go ahead and say, please take our quick survey. It should take five to 10 minutes. All right, so that is a good example of that participant merge field. So now I'm gonna add a page and we're gonna add first question and let's go ahead and add a question. I'm gonna have this be um, a like or dislike question. So what we can do is we can also change this to like a yes, no, happy or unhappy. Um, I'm gonna change this to a yes, no. Would your company, comma, let's go ahead and enter in um, a merge field from the associated record, which is going to be that opportunity that we got. Let's have it be, 
Okay, let's go ahead and choose um, name because opportunity name in our company is just going to be the company's name. And I'm going to hit insert there. And um, let's put a comma after it. Be interested in more products. And then this will be a yes, no. All right, then let's go ahead and enter it off with a thank you page. Thank you for your feedback. All right, let's go ahead and hit save here. And now we can go ahead and preview our different merge fields. So what we're gonna do is we are going to search. So we don't have the specific um, context that we would for the, the survey like we would when we send it out. So we need to select the opportunity that it would be going through just to test these merge fields as well as um, the participant. So let's look for an opportunity. Okay, let's go ahead and go with um, Edge Emergency. And then I know I have a Ashley James. They're not from related ones, but it'll just bring in the merge fields here. And we should be able to see it. So we do have, hello, Ashley James. Please take our quick survey. Would your company be interested in more products? All right, so we do need to go in and change that. All right, so did work this second time. So what we did have to do to change it is just make sure that within your merge fields that you don't have any spaces. So I hit a snag where um, the opportunity here, it had a space afterwards in the variable name. So just make sure there's no spaces in the variable name and you should be good to go. So we have, there we go, we have completed merge fields for a Salesforce survey. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses at salesforceupscale.com and the blog at salesforceemily.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.